Welcome back guys. Today's video, I'm gonna address one of the more popular questions I got in the floor projection video. And that is, how do I add the Repsoto MLM2 Pro's impact vision camera to the floor of my sim room? If you don't have a Repsoto MLM2 Pro, stick around as these principles may apply for your launch monitor. If you haven't seen the floor projection video, click right up here on the info button and you can check that out. If this channel is helpful for you, I really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, like the videos and comment down below if you wanna see anything specific or have any questions. All right, so let's jump right in. The goal is to get a Repsoda data onto the floor of our simulator turf. Just like the data from GS Pro or from webcam putting, we wanna add it as a source to get it on the floor. Currently our PC doesn't have a connection to the tablet. The tablet is connected directly to the MLM2 Pro and I can show you right now in my sim room, I've got the tablet connected to the MLM2 Pro. Um, if I click on it, you'll see connected up here to the MLM2 Pro, but I don't have that hooked up to my PC. So in order to add it as a source uh, to OBS and therefore display it on our floor, we need to screen mirror it onto our PC and then we will add that window as a source to OBS, therefore putting it on the floor. So whether you use an iPhone or an iPad, maybe you're using the AirPlay for screen mirroring or You've used Visor for screen mirroring. I have a video on that. Um, if you've got a Samsung tablet, I'd recommend Samsung Flow. But however you're getting your screen mirror to your PC for the old OCR or image recognition connector, we want to do that. So for me, it's Samsung Flow. So if I click at the bottom here and open up Samsung Flow, I get Samsung Flow right to my PC as a source. So I now have a window open on my computer called Samsung Flow. And what that enables me to do, if yours is Visor or yours is AirPlay, once you get that mirror onto the PC, you can now go down to add a source, choose window capture, call it MLM to Pro Data. We'll click OK. And then I can choose the Samsung Flow. Click OK. And now I have the MLM2 Pro data or the Samsung Flow screen added as a source in our scene. And you can see on the bottom, or sorry, you can see right above me on the floor, I had now can pick and choose and crop the data from my tablet or phone right onto the floor, just like you can from GS Pro or from webcam, webcam putting. But you do have to have screen mirroring uh, turned on so that there is a window to be added as a source. My favorite way to do this, and we can zoom back out to the full room view, is to go into play and practice mode. I like to choose net, uh, the RPT ball. And then if you flip practice mode into landscape and you choose the bullseye, you can get these data tiles. Um, at the bottom, when you click the options button you have auto replay options and you can choose impact vision for auto replay so if i jump back to the obs scene we can now take our screen mirror for the mlm2 pro data and we can rotate it and place it anywhere we want so i'm going to rotate it i'm going to crop it in on the replay or the impact vision replay which is also my, you know, preview box. Maybe I want to place that right in front of where I hit. Maybe like right there. And I could add a little filter to it to get the color to pop a little better. Maybe a color correction filter where we Apologies. Where we do something with contrast, maybe we increase the contrast. I think that makes it show up a little bit brighter for me. And close. And now we have the replay added to our floor in the sim room. Okay, and maybe I also want to add the data from the practice session. You know, this these data points on the right side of the screen, 
that give me club speed, ball speed, etc. Maybe I want those on the floor as well. We can click on the one we had. We can do a right click copy and I'm going to actually do a paste duplicate because I want to put a different filter on this. If you paste a reference or just do control V, it'll be a reference. Any filter you add to one source will be applied to the other. So I pasted a duplicate and on this duplicate, I want to put a, I want to move that over to here, rotate it back this way. We're going to hold the alt key and expose the stuff I cropped out earlier, which is the hitting data. And then I'm going to remove the replay data. And then I'm going to add a filter, maybe a color correction filter. So now this filter, because I did a, a duplicate, it doesn't affect the, the replay one. If I would have done a reference, moving this filter would also affect the replay camera. So I'm going to take the gamma out because that just gives me black and white. And I'm going to click close. And now for this one, I am going to paste. I am going to copy control C, control V, basically paste a reference of it. References will be a little uh, less intensive because they're actually just referencing something that's already there as a source. You're not creating a second source. And I'll drag that down so we get the spin rate, which is the bottom four. And on this right one, I'll drag up. I've now got eight data points displaying directly in front of me. And then I have the replay cam down the line. Let's go out to the room view camera and go hit a shot to test how this works. There you go. You can see the replay camera on the floor for impact vision. And I've got all my data right up here. 6,000 spin, 77 club, 95 ball. And the preview camera is also showing up right there. As you can see, impact vision on the floor and stats right in front of me. Okay, so that's how you add it to OBS and get it as a source on the floor of the sim room. I bet some of you are still wondering, well, how do I get it added when I'm playing GS Pro and I'm connected via Bluetooth? Well, this is, this is the catch. If you're using the Bluetooth direct connection, you cannot also screen mirror and have your tablet be connected to the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. The Rapsodo is either connected to Bluetooth to the computer, no impact replay for you there, or it's connected to the tablet. The great thing about Springbox connector is you can simply go into the settings and switch between the OCR connection method or the Bluetooth, me Bluetooth connection method. If you use the OCR connection method, you're running the connection through the tablet. The computer is using a screen mirror to send the data into GS Pro. In that case, we can still use the screen mirror app for our source in OBS. And actually what I've done is I've copied Springbox connector into two separate folders and I've made shortcuts for each one. The first folder set, I have the Springbox connector set up for Bluetooth. The second folder set, I have it set up for OCR, which is image recognition. So I can use the connector in either way. Because I have the Rapsodo connected to my tablet right now, I can use the OCR connection method to play GS Pro and screen mirror the impact vision. So I'll open up the OCR version of Springbox connector. All right, so if you don't have Springbox connector set up for OCR, you'll have to go into the settings and switch it from Rapsodo MLM2 Pro BT to the regular Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. This will put it in OCR mode or image recognition mode. This is the original connection method he had. I have videos on how to set this up if you've never done it. Check them out on my channel. Um, the default o OCR device, this will be the device that it selects when it starts up. I actually need to change mine to Android. Um, that's where I have my settings saved. But what you'll do is you'll go into your device settings. You'll end up picking out the device that you're using. I'm using an Android or a Samsung tablet. You'll select the ROIs, which are the sections that need to be read to be sent into GS Pro. And I've already done this and I have videos on how to do it. But I'm going to send these six data points into GS Pro. And the connector will read these interpret them, send them into, into GS Pro. 
So because I have Samsung Flow open for the OCR image recognition connection type in the connector, I can use it as source on the floor of my SIM room. So I still have that source available and it's still connected to the Rapsodo through the tablet. So if we jump over to a view of the room, I can load into Bay Hill here and show you how Impact Vision will now work while we're playing GS Pro. And there you have it. You can display the Rapsodo Impact Vision right onto the floor of your SIM or any of the data from the Rapsodo app simply by screen mirroring to the PC, adding it as a source to OBS, and using the OCR image recognition on the Springback, Springbok connector. If you like to use the Bluetooth and you want to switch back and forth, just do like I did and create two versions of the app on your desktop. Set one up for the Bluetooth connection type and the other up for the OCR connection type. And you can easily switch back and forth depending on what you want to see on the floor of your sim that day. Thanks everybody for watching. If these are helping you out, please hit the subscribe button, like the videos. And if you have any ideas for something I should do in the future or a question, please put it in the comments down below and we'll see you next time.